Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Bayonetta 2, emphasizing its good, bad and very bad points in relation to performance using CMU version 1.8.2b. As you can see here, video playback and transition between video and gameplay has been greatly improved in CMU version 1.8.2. You can also see here that quite a lot of the flickering that was present in previous versions is now also fixed. Performance wise, using only FPS numbers, it is also running substantially better than the previous version 1.8.1. We can also see here that the synchronization between audio and video is now greatly improved although not perfect at this moment. Lumen Sage. Cheeky. No one bothered telling me any of your kind survived. Everything, however, is not perfect as you are about to see. The act or chapter selection screen still suffers from this violent flickering and although it is a minor thing, will need to be fixed in a future update. During certain acts and stages, enemies and buildings as you can see here also suffer from extreme flickering. This will also need to be addressed in future CMU updates. There are still certain stages in the game which I would deem unplayable due to graphical flickering and glitches like here. It is very, very distracting trying to play a level like this, and hopefully these issues can easily be ironed out in an update to come at a later date. It is however this later stage, the City of Genesis, that suffers from some of the worst problems present in Bayonetta 2 on CMU. As you can see here, shadows are not rendered correctly and the buildings in the background still profusely flicker, providing a very undesirable gameplay experience. The audio in this area and many areas past this one are also prone to the audio stutter you can hear right now. Cheers for checking out the video guys, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.